Right. So when Pan and the course this work is co-supervised with Dr. Carlos Torres Bruden, so I want to give full credit there, is working on machine learning assisted automatic well correlation, which you know fascinating opportunities here, not only to interpret the well logs, but then to figure out how to put things together stratigraphically. When I won't say anything else and steal your thunder, go ahead, take it away. All right. Thank you, Dr. Persh, and thank you everyone for joining this meeting. I'm very glad that I could have this opportunity to present my work about machine learning assisted automatic well correlation. So as we all know, like actual peripheral interpretations and zonations are essential for uh, reservoir characterization and also decision making. However, uh, the well logs obtained at different times or with different tools or by different vendors. May, may introduce uh, may introduce errors to our uh, well log interpretation and also the correlation. Therefore, we propose new machine learning methods uh, for automatic well log normalization and well correlation in order to kind of correct those errors introduced by those factors. And also we find compared to classical well log normalization and well correlation methods, our new workflow greatly improved the accuracy of peripheral interpretation and well log correlation. We've got some results, which is quite different from uh, what we would commonly do in peripheral interpretation and well and also uh, the proposed automatic well log interpretation and correlation methods can greatly assist the decision-making, the development of uh, different kinds of resources. So uh, in this presentation, I'm going to talk about like the current methods uh, to do uh, well correlation and normalization. What are the problems uh, with the current well log normalization and the correlation methods and how can we uh, solve those problems with uh, machine learning based approaches? And how can we apply those machine learning based approaches to real world problems? And also the future work of uh, this study. So first question, what is a well log normalization? So, as I mentioned before, there are manufacturers that can introduce errors into our uh, in-situ well logs, such as incorrect tool calibration, variant tool vintage, and also changes in borehole environments between those different wells. So, uh, so even in machine learning based interpretation, we also want to perform the well log normalization in order to correct the errors introduced by those factors. And also, uh, what we find is that uh, some features such as the gradients of well logs can help improve the accuracy of our machine learning based interpretation because uh, it's, it's not uh, very affected by the low frequency systematic bias introduced by those different factors. So the, the common way of doing a well log normalization is, in the industry, I believe, is the two-point scaling. So basically, we will correct the uncorrected will or the test will by matching the histogram or the mean and max values of the curve to the well logs from the calibrated well or the type well. So this is a kind of animation to show how we correct an uncorrected well or test well to match the histogram of uh, the type well by matching its mean and max. And also this is kind of an example of showing how we correct the gamma rays based on the uh, distribution of the type well. So another question is how can we how should we select the correct well logs or the uh, type well uh, with correct calibrated well logs for those different test wells? Uh, the first method uh, in the industry, I, I believe, is the type well method, where 
will choose just one type will in the reservoir and match all the rest of the test will to that specific will. Also, we may have a histogram method where we combine the will logs from all the wells to form a big histogram and match uh, the, the, the statistics for each uh, indiv individual wells. I mean, kind of a normalized scene, uh, the will log from each individual will to match that big histogram. Also, we have like uh, the neighbor comparison method where the test wells, will logs are uh, normalized to match the will logs from the adjacent type, uh, type will. So what are the problems uh, with the, the current uh, will log normalization method? So it only considers the univariate statistics. So basically the, the will logs are only normalized to match the histogram, the, the uh, multivariate statistics like the correlations are not considered. And also there might be under or over alignment problem, which correspond to the type one and type two errors in statistics. So basically we may have like uh, correct well of measurements, but different uh, formation properties. But, and when we try to match the well of response, we may introduce over alignment problem. Also, we may have uh, wells penetrating uh, similar formation properties, uh, but uh, I mean different formation properties, but have smear well log statistics due to the measurement errors, which will cause the under alignment problems. Also the choice of correct well logs is also a problem. The spatially closest type wells may also have different formation properties. I mean, the statistics of the formation properties, which may cause the type one error. So to solve this problem, we proposed a new uh, normalization method based on the machinery method. So uh, as, I uh, as I mentioned before, uh, some of the uh, uh, well logs are more prone to the measurement errors than others. So we might use the multivariate statistics to help us to calibrate those well logs which are pro more prone to the measurement error. Also, uh, the relationship or the multivariate statistics among the different types of well logs and also the predicted theoretical properties should be uh, honored during this normalization process. So we propose to use the machinery methods discriminative adversarial methods as a transfer learning approach to uh, cap the similarities uh, of uh, those relations between the well logs. As for the type well selection, uh, proposed instead of using the spatially closest well as a type well, we will choose the wells with similar well log response. By that, I mean the similar multivariate statistics of well, well logs. So, so how should we uh, calculate the uh, similarity between the uh, well logs from different well? The method I chose is to calculate the divergence of their uh, of their of the well logs from different wells. So here is the uh, distance matrix from uh, different different wells, and from this uh, distance matrix we can uh, generate this map. From this map we can easily tell that uh, those two wells are uh, most likely an outlier well, which indicate that uh, there might be some measurement errors or a calibra calibration errors in some of the well logs for those wells. While the other wells uh, seems uh, doesn't have too much uh, uh, measurement error. And also, so, so we compared uh, three uh, different uh, type well selection methods. The first one is the classical spatially closest type well method. And the second one is to choose the well that has the most similar uh, statistics as the type will. And the third one is uh, to get all the wells with uh, similar statistics. So this is the results when we apply uh, those different methods 
for a permeability estimation for one of the outlier wells. So the, the black line indicates is the original well log or the original uh, permeability estimation. And the green line shows the, uh, permeab uh, the permeability estimation and also the well log, normalized well logs from the uh, two-point scaling method. And the blue line shows the um, permeability prediction and also the uh, well normalized well logs from the uh, DA method. As we can see, the DA method actually gives the most accurate estimation of the permeability. And also, the, the main errors uh, for this outlier wells are actually from the measuring error from the, uh, the sonic log. And if we look at the uh, cross plot between the uh, divergence, which is the uh, distance of the, uh, I mean, the statistical dis distance between the, the well logs, and also the uh, L2 nor L2 area of the permeability estimation, we can find that the two point scaling method actually um, predicts. Uh, uh, normalize a well log such that the, the kill divergence is way less than the other uh, two. And that is actually caused uh, over alignment uh, error. So by that, I, uh, I mean, so basically we shift uh, the, the sonic log too much such that the, 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 the type two errors occurred. And also, we have the uh, permeability estimation for uh, normal test wells. Uh, as you can see, the, the, the differences of the normalized well logs for different well logs are uh, very similar for different methods. And also, the DA methods gives the best results compared to uh, the uh, two-point uh, scaling method. So here is a summary statistics of uh, those different methods. So uh, as we can see from this table that the DA method actually gives the uh, best results no matter which type of selection method we use. Also, uh, the, if we choose a type well based on the similarity of the uh, multivariate statistics, we will get a, a much better uh, estimation compared to the uh, distance-based uh, appro approach. So, we can also apply this uh, transfer learning and also correct the well logs for a well correlation task. So uh, in this project, we combine the machine learning features and the dynamic programming method, uh, which is also the dynamic time warping to perform the zonation. So basically we will train our Uh, training library like this, and use those features as a loose function to uh, apply and apply our uh, dynamic time warping methods to correlate those uh, different wells. So these two are uh, the are some of the examples. Uh, I mean, some of the examples in our uh, training library, such as uh, uh, extensive sheets and or uh, carbonate reservoir, will get. Uh, very continuous zone, but for non-stationary channel reservoir, we may get a very non-stationary type of uh, zonation. So this is the results we got by applying those uh, machine learning features, uh, by combining the machine learning features and dynamic time warping. So the first uh, figure shows the actual well tops we got uh, from our data set. And the second, uh, second figure shows uh, the correlation we got with the uh, classical dynamic time warping method. And the last figure shows uh, the results we got with the machine learning feature assisted uh, dynamic time warping method. As you can see, the, um, the correlation we got with the machine learning based approach actually matches the uh, actual well tops much better than the classical dynamic time warping method. And we can also tell that from the summary statistics, for example, if we calculate uh, the mean absolute deviation, which is the differences between the 
uh, actual working paths and the predicted working paths. We can find that the classical dynamic term working method actually uh, have a much larger uh, mean absolute deviation compared to the machine learning uh, based uh, dynamic time working method. We can also tell that from this uh, this uh, warping pass map. So to summarize uh, our findings in this study, so the divergence-based type will selection method is found much better than the distance-based uh, type well selection method. Also, the machine learning-based uh, well log normalization method is less affected by the underalignment or overalignment problems. Also, compared to the classic well correlation method, machine learning feature-based approach yield better results by incorporating the geological concepts uh, into our work uh, well correlation uh, workflow. Yeah, and in the future, we are going to perform more sensitivity analysis for our uh, reservoir models and also build uh, more realistic uh, training libraries to incorporate the uh, geological concepts into our uh, workflow. And lastly, I would like to uh, thank all our sponsors for uh, supporting our projects. When, when, thank you very much for the presentation. We appreciate very much. Um, we have a question here from Liz. Liz, do you want to just jump in and ask? Sure. Uh, put a put a human face to it. Yeah, yeah great talk. One really loved it. Um, newcomer to all of this, so forgive maybe a naive question, but I wanted to know if you could comment on how you might extend your methodology here to image logs, or do you see it as a natural extension, or would it require some reworking? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think it's. Uh... Yeah, as you said, it is a uh, well actually a natural extension of this method to uh, image log because I mean image log may also suffer from uh, the well log normalization problems such as like you may use like different tools to uh, get the image log from different wells so then you may like have different noise I mean signal to noise levels and also you may have like bias in those image logs from well to well so you may want to. Uh, Kind of normalize your uh, image log. So, for example, you may learn from um, from the image log interpretation from one well, and then apply our methods to normalize the image log from other well, and then do the uh, automatic machine learning based uh, interpretation for the other well uh, image logs from other wells. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much for the question, Liz. We appreciate it. 